So why are some cast members better than others? It's all on how you think about and approach the job. Here's some of the things that help make me a better cast member. If you haven't figured out yet, I loved my time working at the parks. I had a blast when I was a Rhino Rally driver at Busch Gardens, had an absolute ball in my five years at Disney World, loved my three years at Silver Dollar City. I had a great time at my jobs, but not everybody does. In fact, if you followed my comments at all on some of my other videos, you've seen a couple people who definitely did not like their time, and you may have seen other videos. So why is it that some people seem to love it so much and have so much fun and do a great job, and others are just downright miserable? Here are some ways that I approached the job that I think made it so much better for me. Here's my first tip. You've got to love where you work. If you're at Disney, you got to love Disney and almost everything about it. The movies, the characters, the songs, everything that goes on. Because it's all part of your job. If you don't like the movies and entertainment that Disney produces, you're not going to like being in the parks all the time. If you're working in an 1880s Ozarks town like at Silver Dollar City and you can't stand that time period, you're probably not going to like it very much. As a good example, you've got to like the music at Disney World. If you don't, it will drive you bonkers. My family used to give me a really bad time because I had High School Musical completely memorized. All the songs and the lines and everything. And every time we saw something in High School Musical, they would all start teasing me. It wasn't because I was necessarily a really a huge High School Musical fan. But when I was working in Hollywood Studios, they had a show and you saw this and heard it four times a day. And if you didn't find a way to enjoy it, you were going to be hating life every time it came out. So you learned to like it. You learned to laugh with it. You learned to dance around and have fun and tease the other guests. You had to enjoy it. We'd sing along with the music. During the fireworks of Magic Kingdom with Wishes, you could always spot a cast member who was there watching because they're the ones singing along. We loved it. So if you didn't like Disney, you weren't going to like working there. If you didn't like the theming of Silver Dollar City, you weren't going to like working there. And it was going to just make your job miserable. The theming is a whole other thing. You've got to like the theme and to be part of it and to get in character. If you don't like the theme as a whole, you're probably not going to like what you do. With theme parks especially, the whole idea is to escape real life, to forget your problems and everything that goes on, and to go into a different world. At Bush Gardens in Tampa, it was going to Africa. Here we're taking you on a safari, we're taking you in places you could never go. Look at these animals in the wild and trying to make it real. At Disney World, everything we did was to preserve that theme and to keep it real all the time. So much so that you try really hard not to break character. You always want to keep that theme up to help people remember it. So you have to like the theme. You've got to know the theme. You've got to enjoy it and immerse yourself in it, especially as a cast member. There's a good reason we're called cast members. It's because we're acting in a great big play. And if you don't know your part and you don't know your role and you don't know the play, and especially if you don't enjoy it, you were going to get miserable pretty quick. As part of that, you also had to remember that all the characters were real. And not just kind of sort of think it and, oh yeah, Mickey is real. You knew people who were friends with Mickey, but that guy walking around with the big ears and the red pants and out greeting people, that's Mickey. There isn't any other one. There isn't anybody costume. That's Mickey. And it's so cool to be with him, especially when you're at Disney World, because, I mean, he's the guy who signs your checks. And, and if you're with Minnie, have I ever told you about Minnie's cheesecake? Minnie makes this awesome cheesecake. Daisy did an upside-down cake. And you get yourself immersed so that they're real, and you talk to them like they're real. You interact with them like they're real. Even if you're just walking down the street in the park, oh, hey, Mickey, how you doing? Not just at Disney either, but other parks. Most parks have some sort of entertainment, some characters, some theme characters. At Silver Dollar City, they've got a couple people who like to go around greeting people. There's Whoopsie Daisy, Doc Harris who will come out and meet people, and all sorts of others. They're all real, and that's part of your theme, and you interact with them on the same level as if they really were that person. That's one of the things that helps make your job much more fun too, because you can be somebody totally different and have a blast doing it. Here's a huge one. You need to enjoy people and working with them. If you don't like people, 
then working in a theme park is not for you. There are some jobs that you can avoid people a little bit. You can work on the overnight crew that hoses down the sidewalks and cleans up and paints. Maybe you can work in the back of the kitchen cooking food. But for the most part, if you're in a theme park, you're going to be dealing with guests. You're going to be dealing with guests who are lost, guests who are confused, guests who are dumb, because people check their brains out when they walk into a theme park. At Disney, we joke that they had finger scanners that would suck your brains out. At Silver Dollar City, the brains get locked in the trunks. People are just clueless in the parks, and that's okay. You laugh about it, you laugh with them, sometimes at them, but usually with them. Put a smile on, have a good time, and learn how to play with them. As an example, we had one photographer at Disney that had come to us from Universal Studios. He loved Universal, didn't like Disney. Liked what he did at Universal because he didn't do a whole lot with people. Hated being with people at Disney. And he was miserable and complained and groaned and griped all the time. And he was there for a year and a half. It was like, dude, go get a real job. Something you like. Get away from us. We don't want to hear it anymore. Liked the guy, but at work he was a pain. Instead, we played with people. I loved playing with guests. I'd get out there and mess around. I'd find excuses to talk to them and say hi. I'd look for a hat that was maybe wearing the sports team that I liked. Or a shirt that said something I knew something about. Somebody came by with a Star Wars shirt. If they're wearing pirate clothes, it's telling pirate jokes. It's having fun and being able to play with them and letting them play with you. And that would extend into all sorts of areas. If I was walking through the park from one place to another, I was always ready to be asked questions. Always ready to be able to have a guest stop me and need something. Always ready to say something friendly. Because I like people. And kids especially have a ball playing with kids. You'd see kids out on the street and maybe they're waiting for the parade and they get games going. Well, you'd start playing games with the kids and have fun with them. Right before a parade is a great time for kids to eat ice cream. Who doesn't like pictures of a kid making a sloppy mess of themselves with ice cream? And so we look for pictures like that. Hey, you get a big old bite of that. Ooh, great picture. One of my favorite memories and a great example of how most of the photographers really enjoyed working with the guests and playing with them was one time right before the parade at Hollywood Studios. We had about 10, 15 minutes and there was five of us out on the street and we were doing our normal routine. We're out playing with the guests a little bit, trying to get a few pictures, but mostly playing around because most people don't want their picture at that point. Well, one of the other guys got this great idea. Hey, you know what? I'll bet we can get him to do the wave. You're going to get all these people sitting here doing the wave? Yeah, why not? Cool, I'm with you. <laughs> and we actually started working the crowd because there's five of us spread out the street. And he started yelling at one end and then another guy. And I think I was in the middle somewhere and a couple more. And all of us started cheering together to get the crowd. Hey, everybody, we're going to do the wave. Are you ready? And he started down at the one end, getting everybody going. And then the next photographer, and then me. And we all ran right along with the crowd, cheering everybody on, getting everybody to do the wave. We got this crowd going, so we actually had the wave go all the way down Hollywood Boulevard, all the way back, and then back down again before it fell apart. It was awesome. We would also do crazy things and when it was time for us to leave the street for the parade. Like all of us would get together, form up a line, and we would all march out. And pretend that we were the parade, which would usually get a cheer from the crowd. Because we enjoyed what we were doing. We enjoyed the theme, we enjoyed the people, and we enjoyed playing with them. And all of that's helped what makes a good cast member. If you ever want to work at Disney, or Silver Dollar City, or one of the other theme parks that are out there, and there's a bunch. Get into the theme, enjoy the company, enjoy people. Have fun with it. Never forget the serious parts of your job, because that's always there too. But make it a great, fun adventure, not just for you, but for everybody around you. And you'll find that you'll end up loving the job, and you'll be the cast member that everybody remembers. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed some of my views on how to be a good cast member. If you enjoyed it, please leave me your comments below. I'd love to hear some of the crazy things that cast members did with you. Or some of the things you've done while working in a park. Also, please don't forget to like the video, share the word, spread it with your friends. I would really appreciate that. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. You can click that button right there to subscribe. Hey, check out one of my other videos right there. You'll enjoy it, I promise. And last of all, thank you to all my patrons. 
I really appreciate your support. If you'd like to help support me and the videos that I'm doing, I would greatly appreciate it. Check out my Patreon right there. Thank you so much.